Today, we're going to be taking a look at WP Extended, a plugin that you install into WordPress and it allows you to enable or disable a bunch of really useful little plugin utilities that don't need to be installed individually. Why is that useful? One plugin to update, maintain, and manage that has a ton of options you can enable or disable all inside the one plugin. So let's take a quick look at what this actually does in WordPress itself. So I've gone ahead and installed WP Extended. You can see we have one plugin. We now have a new entry called WP Extended. We can click to open that up. And inside there, these are the modules that are currently available. Some of these are coming soon, some of these are beta, and some of these will be locked behind a pro paywall at some point. But as you can see, we still have a bunch of options that can be useful when we install WordPress. Things like exporting posts and pages, exporting users, duplicating, lots of different options inside here. So what you can do is you can go ahead and enable all of these, or you can enable only the ones that you want. So for now, let's enable everything. So once that's done, all those modules now are enabled. We don't need to save anything, and you'll notice that we don't get any piles of little options on the left hand side and if we go back into our plugins even though we've enabled all these options we still only have one plugin which is wp extended so it means updating in the future when updates come out and bug fixes and so on we only have one plugin to manage and maintain now let's go back into wp extended and you'll see inside there we now have a couple of new options and we also have different options sprinkled around wordpress itself so for example, if we come into the modules one more time, we've got things like tidy navigation, post and page order, quick add posts, and so on. So all these options are inside you. If you want to disable the Gutenberg editor, that's also available. Let's go and turn that off so we keep Gutenberg. But let's come look and take a look at snippets. So if we want to add in snippets into the header or footer, we can do that inside WP Extended. So what we need to do is add a new snippet, give it a label, choose where we want it, header or footer, and pop the information inside there. So this is like a really simple option when it comes to things like code snippets, any of the tools out there. This is much simpler, but for a lot of use cases where you may want to put Google Analytics code into the header or whatever tracking you're using or Google Pixels and things like that, you can do that just using this individual plugin. And again, only one plugin to manage and maintain. We've also got clean profiles. This allows us to go in and clean up various different aspects of our profile so we can uh, hide the options for your toolbar, your biographical info, and so on. So if you don't use these features and you don't want them cluttering up the actual WordPress dashboard, this is a great way of streamlining this and get rid of all that junk and crap. So when you hand it over to a client, it's a little less intimidating. Now, speaking of handing it over to a client, let's hop over into Tidy Nav, which is another one of those features, and you can see there's our roles, our editor, author, contributor, and subscriber. So now what we can do is we can go through and we can enable or disable any of the features inside the dashboard for those different roles. Again, this allows us to clean up all the extraneous things that we may not want those user roles to have to see if we don't want to give them access to it. They can't get in trouble, they can't see it. So that's another one of those options. Also, if we come into something like posts, you can see inside there, we've now got basically what looks like the same kind of thing. With the exception, we've got order over on the right hand side. However, you'll notice when we come over any of these posts, we now get this little four headed arrow that allows me to go ahead and reposition these. So let's say, for example, I want to move this one a little bit further down. We'll move that and you'll see now the order updates accordingly and everything now is put into place. So we can easily visually drag and drop this around, which is so much quicker and easier than some of the other methods you may have had to use in the past. Again, all these plugins are freely available to do these things, but the benefit of this is it's only one plugin to update and maintain, which in itself is a little bit of a time saver and just makes your whole life a little easier. So we can go through, we've got other options. If we come in, for example, into one of these posts, you can see inside here, we could duplicate this, we can create a new one. Some of these things used to be in WordPress before, but they're now no longer really that obvious. So for example, if we want to create a new post from here, we can click on new and we automatically then have a new post ready to start working with. If we want to duplicate it, we can duplicate it from here or we can go back to the list and inside there we can duplicate from here. We can also download this as a CSV file. We can select all of these with our bulk actions and export to CSV. We can very quickly export these posts, pages, users, whatever it is, if we've got those features enabled inside the plugin itself.
You'll also notice that we can, if you want to, coming back into the modules, we've got the option for SVG file upload. Again, this is one of those things that generally is locked away and you would need to edit a few bits and pieces or install a plugin to give you access to this. You could just enable it or disable it inside you. And you'll notice a lot of these have little help icons that'll tell you exactly what these features will do. And that basically is what WP Extended gives us. It's a simple way of installing multiple different widgets, plugins, whatever you want to call them, that do very basic things, but may require multiple different plugins just to have these features. Check it out. The link is in the description below. No affiliations or anything else like that. This is purely a plugin that I think you may want to check out to streamline your work process. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tetson. Until next time, take care.